days before we in, and uh, it's gonna be tough like always. <laughs> Meats, bag, little bit sweat, like always, you know. Work with Coach Hal, his father, and that's it. You know, today we were working on uh, striking, uh, getting ready for the fight, working on the particular drills that we want to implement in, in the fight. Habib is looking stronger than ever. Uh, I believe we were a little bit further ahead than his previous fight. So I'm expecting a great performance. It's just a matter now of uh, cutting weight and making sure that we're on point everywhere. You know, it's, it's super cool here. We got Zubab, we got Islam, we got Habib training. And I've always had that before in the past with these guys all together, but what I didn't have was his father, which is a huge motivator. You know, you can see why they're so great, you know, as a result of the hard training. He doesn't let these guys miss a beat. I'm good, very good. Just need three more training days. Like, I don't know, we're training two times a day, just for cutting weight. This is. Hard three more days, but hard card weight, easy fight. For Islam, this is the, the biggest fight to, to date for his career against Dabi Ramos, who's, who's uh, Abu Dhabi uh, grappling world champion. Uh, so it's, it's a really tough uh, test for him. Uh, Dabi is an extremely talented, powerful uh, individual on the stand-up, but obviously we know the ground's his biggest forte. Islam can handle both. He can handle the stand-up and the ground. I definitely expect a great performance from Islam, and uh, you will see a great performance from him. Yeah, just shorter. No, you don't have to do the triangle or anything like mm -hmm. that. I just want them hemmed up as much as. But the one I did in Phoenix, I remember. Yeah, I'll but you can that. even keep it a little longer than that, I think, this time. Okay. Because I was, I went a little crazy. <laughs> they were like, yeah. that's okay. Dukes. How, okay, how much? I can try them on and show okay. you real quick. That's perfect. You want me to do that real quick? Yes. Right. I like things very specific. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! You said that was a so we could just do them like, kind of like Albini does. Yeah. <laughs> that would be perfect. Let's go, make it happen, Paul. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what if we just take a cup of these for later and kiss these abs goodbye in a few weeks? That's why I keep taking pictures, posting. It's like not for being an asshole. It's like, look, these aren't going to be here. That one will chuck. Is this regular trash? Yeah. <laughs> I'll go get that later. All right, I'm content. I think that's that's good. <laughs> nope, it's, it's just an empty coffee, coffee cup. Quiet, so, you know, like, it's just an empty coffee cup. Nothing to see here. I didn't just steal 40 cookies for Friday. All right. <laughs> A expectativa é a melhor possível. É... As pessoas perguntando muito sobre ah, mas é uma revanche, já lutou com ele e tal. Eu sou um cara completamente diferente hoje. Ele é um cara completamente diferente. Ele treina com outras pessoas, eu treino com outras pessoas. É... A única coisa que eu posso garantir é que a gente melhorou, sem dúvida nenhuma. Se você vê, naquela época ele era invicto, então ele já. Ele sentiu o gosto da de derrota, ele já se tornou um cara mais completo e eu também, cara. Sabe que são dois caras que gostam muito da luta em pé. A expectativa realmente que né, se a gente for analisar. Tem se depender de mim, vai ser uma guerra. Não importa onde a luta for, vai ser uma guerra. E eu tô muito bem preparado para essa luta. Damn, that's hot. Yeah. It's a dry heat yeah. though today. You're right, it's not as human. I forgot my scale. No, you got it. He's got it. Yeah. 0.4 under, so I need to be 154.6 on mine. Incredible. This is really cool, man. You guys are hooking me up. Gold. I love right. it. Thank you, sir. Check that out. Get in on there. Get in, get in on there. Get in on there. What do you got? You got a pinky ring, bro. 
I don't fit on your stubby fingers. It's a long way from freaking Shreveport and Lafayette, bro. <laughs> Cormier already as a, as a champion. He's also from Lafayette, Louisiana. Dustin will be the next one. And I think there's just kind of more empowerment for everybody. The three of us from Lafayette, Shreveport, you know, down south Louisiana will hopefully all have a title. What's up, you guys? What's up, man? You good? You good? Good, great. Don't let it get you. In your bag, they also sent you some fighter specific stuff with your name on it. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah, yeah. Check that out. Got my Fleur de Lee on there. Yeah, like they did in purple. It's like LSU colors, purple and gold. One question Do you happen to bring your belt with you? No. Okay. So what'll happen is we'll we'll lend you one, we'll get it back from you after the press conference and we'll give you a like a mailer. So you put your uh, piece with your name in it uh -huh. and mail it back to us and we'll update it and send it back to you. After I stop this guy? Yes sir. All right. Cool. Beautiful. Can't wait to have that ruby on there. Can I have drinks on the Yeah, but I've seen the coffee coming in there. No, it's not coffee. That's cookies. This is cookies. Cookies? Cookies. Yeah, they should have used the version that we made. That was the best version. I think he's going to show you. And Bilal decided to use a headshot from when I was an actor back when I was about 18 years old. That was a very young me. My mom's the one that taught me how to fight. Don't ever let anybody fool you. It was not my, my poor father. It was my tough-ass mom, who's the nicest woman in the world when you meet her. You cross that woman, and she was ready to throw down at the drop of a hat. I got my athletics from my dad, though. My dad was a really, really good, uh, really good baseball player. And baseball, I was always good at everything except, you know, the, the kind of key part of it was hitting the ball. I could run the bases, I could catch the ball, I could pitch a little bit, but I could not hit that damn thing. Yeah. Which is why I started hitting faces, because the head is much bigger than the baseball. All these cars coming up. Uh, yeah, all these cars going up. The whole entourage. Yeah, we're here in the, in the hotel at the UFC office, the whole crew is here and we're doing our PR and media obligation. Bro, I think there is a, like, what, there is a 40 people with us? It's a big crew. All the family, friends, members, coaches, sparring partners, everybody's here. Last time I was loved, right? Yes. Yeah, I That was it, but was, uh, smell, fighting smell. You know, because of new, when I go to the cage, I always, because we fight like this, it's like cage. What is Zabak's name? Boys for me now. Yes. So on Saturday night, they're going to put his name, mm -hmm. they put his country, and the date that he fought on there. Mm -hmm. So. Can I? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll just text you. Email. I have old one now. He wants new one. Russia. Yeah, Russia. Looking, looking good. What do you think? Let's go home. Rizvan, it's the same belt. Mm -hmm. Every time he defends it, they'll add a ruby to it. Mm -hmm. See you Saturday night, buddy. Damn. See you. Sleep sure. good. Sure. <laughs> All good? Yes. Okay. Happy привет. Расскажи, чем ближе становится поединок, тем создается ощущение, что вы с парье относитесь друг к другу уважительно, но все равно высказывания становятся более резкими. Почему так? Я думаю, без сомнений, она, она влияет на мозги. Что становишься более гиперчувствительным, более раздражительным. А так, в общем, у меня только уважение к нему, которое прекратится, когда я войду в октагон.